Layers are an optional display system. Unlike AutoCAD, you don't have to use layers in Max and Viz. However, layers are the best way to organize complex scenes, whether they're imported from AutoCAD or made from scratch. In my opinion, it's not worth the time using layers in small scenes containing just a few objects, like pieces of furniture, for example. The Layers toolbar has a drop-down that will be familiar to you if you've ever used AutoCAD. However, it works a bit differently. This scene was imported from Architectural Desktop, so its layer names follow the convention of XREF file name, pipe, layer name. I'll hide this layer by clicking the first icon. Notice that the change takes place immediately. The icon changes into a mask symbol. I'll unhide the layer and then freeze it by clicking the second icon. Frozen layers are still visible. They turn gray and they're not selectable. However, they are snappable. Frozen layer names are grayed out here so that you remember that they're frozen. I'll thaw the layer. The teapot means that the layer is renderable. If you toggle that off, the objects on that layer remain on screen, but you won't see them in a rendering. By the way, you can change the layer color right here. And it immediately updates in the drop down. Click on a layer name to set that layer current. Unlike AutoCAD, you can't move objects to different layers by using the drop-down. Instead, you have to use the tools available over here. For example, I'll select this object and then click this tool, Set Current Layer to Selections Layer. That's a way of reading the layer off of an object. This tool selects all the objects in the current layer so I got all the roof slabs. This tool creates a new layer and it gives you an option to move the current selection to that new layer. I'll call it roof for this demo and click OK. Finally, if I selected a different object, I could add that to the current layer. So now part of that chimney is on the new roof layer.